what is test planning okay now we have briefly touched on the test planning in question number 48 as well so test planning is the activity okay test planning is an activity in the software development life cycle wherein the lead qa or the test manager will go ahead and create a plan for testing so if say for example your release is, is for three months or six months or a year a test plan document will be created which will have the details of what will be tested what is in scope what will be tested what will not be tested what are the timelines when the testing will start and finish who will be testing all of this okay how many team members will be required then entry and exit criteria all of those details as we have uh, already covered in one of the previous uh, interview question video which is i think part three or four as per the test plan template all of that information will be filled in that word document or test plan document okay mostly it's a word document and that is what happens in the test planning so analyzing what needs to be done and then planning the whole testing across for that particular release is test planning now test planning also happens within the sprints okay so if you're following agile software development approach so test planning will also be applicable within the sprint which is two to four week cycle wherein say for example for two weeks you have been allocated or or in the sprint planning there will be some stories that are part of that particular sprint now developers will develop it testers will write test cases and finally test it right so before you go ahead and write test cases you need some sort of planning or very minimal it's it's not massive planning you don't create massive document in those two weeks right it's just high level planning and discussion with the team testing team and even including developers so basically what is in scope of as as these stories what will be tested what won't be tested as part of this scope the two week scope or four week scope uh, whatever the sprint duration is and what will be the exit criteria what will be the definition of done when we say testing is is done right or what will be the entry criteria or definition ready when we say yeah we can go ahead and start testing right so all of these details whatever we do in the big level or big release test plan we do at a smaller level and in a much quicker way and the scope is just the items the work items that are within the sprint okay so that is what the test planning is all about and test planning is important at a wider level at a major release level wherein you will do a lot of effort and a documentation is required uh, for the the release that is spanning three to six months okay and then at the sprint level as well when we say we are following agile that doesn't mean that you are not going to do documentation at all it in agile as per the project needs and whatever necessary documentation is required should definitely be done because otherwise the information gets lost right so in agile agile doesn't say or scrum doesn't say that you do not follow or do not do any documentation at all into your project scrum says or agile says that you do only necessary documentation and get rid of any of the extra documentation and overhead that is there in terms of documentation unnecessary documentation and process within your, your project right so that's what usually happens in test planning if it is a high level it, if it is a bigger sort of a release a proper plan a word document will be prepared or it will be stored in the confluence with proper template if you are doing it for the sprint it will be quick sort of one pager if you want to put it into the confluence or you can just go ahead and discuss and prepare some key points how you are going to approach testing into that particular sprint and deliver okay so that's what test planning is all about